Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions and in today's video I'm collaborating once again with the AutoCAD blog for a 2 Minute Tuesday slash Tuesday tip. Uh, in this video uh, I'm going to show you guys how to use auto numbering or the auto number tool to create callouts or add numbers to your text uh, automatically. Be sure to check out the article. I'll put a link in the description and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more of these videos. Let's get started. All right, so I suggest reading the article first, but if not, you should be able to follow along. This is a pretty quick and easy one. We're going to try and keep it under two minutes. So to start, you're going to need a text object. Uh, you can see I've created an example callout here. Uh, it's simply an M text object with the number one and a circle around it. From here, we're going to just copy this callout around. Uh, your drawing wherever you need a callout. This could be numbering different objects, doors, windows. Uh, you could add numbers to your notes, uh, like these ones here at the start or at the end. Uh, in our case, we're going to use these as a uh, window callout. So everywhere that there's a window, I'm just going to copy this around uh, and then we're going to automatically renumber them. So you can see there I've got uh, looks like about seven. Uh, from here, we can get these number ones to automatically number in a variety of ways. To do that, we're going to go to the Express Tools tab up here on the ribbon, and we're going to choose the Auto Number tool. You can also activate this using the T count command, as you can see there. Uh, we're just going to click it, and it's going to ask us to select all of our objects. So it does matter. Uh, which order you select the objects because you can choose to number them in the order you select them uh, So we're going to use that as our numbering selection uh, But I'll show you the other two options as well. So we're just going to select our text object So I'd like them to number this way. So one two three and then four five six and seven So I've selected all the objects simply hit enter to move on to the next prompt Next, we can choose the uh, way that these are going to be sorted or numbered. As I mentioned, we're going to use select order. So that's the order you selected them in. You can also use X or Y. X is going to number your objects from left to right, with left being the lowest or first number. So if we wanted, in this case, to number them from left to right, this would be one. It looks like two, three, and then these would all be roughly four, five, six, seven, depending on where I place them left to right. And then Y does the same thing, but going from top to bottom. Uh, so you can see this would be one, then two, three, four, five, six, seven, etc. Again, we're going to use select order, you can use whichever or play with them, renumber them. So now that we've hit enter, we've got the next prompt here. And this is asking us for your starting number and your increment. So we're going to use the default here, uh, which I believe most people will be if you're just starting from scratch on your uh, callouts or numbers. Although this could be a case where you're going by tens or twos or starting at 100 and going 101, 102. Um, in our case, we're just going to start with one and it's going to increase by one. So we can hit enter to keep the default. And then finally, we've got to choose uh, the placement of our numbers and how they're going to get uh, replaced. So we've got a few options, all of which I kind of go through in a little bit more detail in the article, which the link is in the description below. Uh, but quickly, you can add a prefix to some text. Uh, so in the case of say I selected notes over here or some other text objects, you could add a number to the start. So it'd be like one dash and then your text or two dash and then your text. So you could be numbering them. Same goes for suffix other than it's going to add that number to the end of the text string. And then find and replace, you can choose a uh, target value or text object and then replace them with a specific number that uh, incrementally grows uh, if you'd like. That's good for numbering things and keeping track of objects. We're going to use the overwrite uh, because that's just going to replace our numbers with new counted numbers. Uh, and you'll see how that looks here when we hit O for overwrite and hit enter. And you can see that's it. 
uh, auto numbering has already done its job. It's numbered our call outs one, two, three in the order I selected them, four, five, six, seven. So hopefully you uh, liked this tool. Uh, it's one of many great express tools and don't forget to check the channel, uh, hit subscribe and like and leave a comment below uh, letting me know what you'd like to see in the future. I've also done a lot of previous videos on various express tools. If you check out the uh, video catalog on the blog, catintentions.com or on my channel. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.